Today I have Chuck Ramirez with me. Chuck, hi. How are you doing? How are you? Good, I'm fine. Good. Uh, tell us what you do in the real world. Graphic designer for HEB. And you're designing brands and labels for Packaging the HEB brand. design for the own brand department, uh -huh. yeah. And in the art world, what kinds of things are you doing? Uh, I guess I could say I'm doing conceptual art. Chuck made overlooked things, lowbrow things perhaps, desirable. Chuck loved San Antonio. Chuck loved art. Chuck loved beauty. Chuck loved being loved. He had just been diagnosed with HIV. It gave him this other kind of strength, I think. I started to live after I found that I was HIV positive. He was working at HEB, but it just wasn't what he wanted to do. He wanted to go from a corporate graphic designer to making art. It was a different flavor of conceptual art. It was infused by cariño, by affection. He was Tia Chuck. He was everybody's auntie. He was making sure that we all stayed connected. Bon appétit. <laughs> to be the one who cares for everyone, to be the one who provides things for people, to be the one who sees the beauty in things would get to him. He was drunk. And he would do some silly stuff when he was having a little drinky. He says, oh my God, you gotta come over and take me to the hospital. I'm just bleeding all over the place. I've connected to mortality a couple of times. It's interesting that that does come across through the work. I'm kind of interested in the aftermath of the refuse or the debris or the detritus of what we leave behind. He had an incredible eye for things that we tend to miss. That piece to me is one of the more profound portraits I've ever seen. Chuck, what do you want to be when you grow up? Viva Chuck! Viva Tia Chuck! Are you recording me? Yes. Oh, God. 